Hi, I'm Rico and this is 123Tube and today is going to be a quick video just showing you my kind of like hobby Ethereum mining PC that I've put together as cheaply as possible. So uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, let's start with this monitor. I needed a monitor because, uh, well, I didn't have one. So I picked up one from a charity shop for £5. It's extremely basic and old, but it does the job perfectly. And then we have a PC. So we've got an old, old PC which we had. This is an i3-2120, so it's a dual core, four thread, 65 watt TDP, so it's low power consumption, which is ideal for, for mining. Uh, it's got a 250 gig hard drive, which is all you need really. Uh, Windows 10 has just been updated onto it, and uh, yeah, there it is. So we have a power supply in there, which is basically pants. That's going to come out, and what we're going to do is we're going to put its new power supply in. That cost me £50. It has all the connections we need, very long cables so that we're not caught short, pardon the pun. And um, yeah, that seems to pretty much cover all the bases. Then we have a couple of risers. And the reason why we have two is because if you have a look, you can see we have two PCI Express ports there so that allows us to put two GPUs onto the system and the two GPUs that I have are these Paylit GeForce GTX 1060s 6 gigabytes um, 3 is cheaper but after much reading it seems like the I believe they call it the DAG file will shortly become larger than three gigabytes so the cards will be rendered useless so I've gone for the six gigabyte versions and it also means that they'll be more sellable uh, I've gone from for Paylet there were sort of cheaper options but I've gone for the Jetstream edition purely because I have a GTX 1080 in my system there which is currently mining uh, I've done another video on that and I was so impressed with the card that I thought I'd go for the Jetstream Paylets again. They have uh, a really, really big juicy heat sink on there. It takes up two and a half slots, but it means they just run so cool and quiet. And my 1080 tie was such a good overclocker that I've plumbed for these. Hopefully they've, uh, they'll perform just as good. And these two uh, cost me 540 Whereas the tie cost me the 1080 tie, how much did that cost me? That cost me about 650. So these are cheaper and they should uh, outperform the tie. On average, I'm getting about 39 on the tie. These, I'm hoping, will get me 44 to 45. So fingers crossed. So what I'm going to do is put this system together, get it up and running. I'm going to mount everything onto this makeshift board that I've put here and uh, yeah next time you see this in a moment it should be up and running hopefully hello and we're back and as you can see it's completed we have a finished system which was pretty straightforward to build to be honest didn't really encounter any problems as you can see we've got two GPUs there Not really much to show really, it's quite straightforward. I'm sure you've probably seen quite a few uh, builds before. This one being quite uh, quite small and basic compared to uh, a lot of them out there, but the whole idea of this was to try and do it as uh, cheaply and as efficiently as possible. And you can see we've got the uh, new power supply in there. We have the risers here, which I've put on spacers just to lift them off the board. 
and I have tuned it as well. So let's have a look. So we have power limit set to 50, core clock didn't really make much difference, so I've knocked it down to minus 400. It didn't seem to affect it at all. But the memory clock, I've put it up to 790. Below that, it affects it. Above that, it doesn't really affect it. And uh, obviously, if you go a bit too far, it becomes unstable. So that was a sweet spot. And we are mining over 24 on each one which is uh, pretty good. I was hoping to go from 19 to 22 but 24.1 is pretty good. I've only just switched it on. I have been running it earlier and it was running at 24.3 so yeah that's uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And I also have a watt meter up there so we can see how many watts we're pulling. Let's have a look. So I believe that's 251 watts. So around 250 watts for the entire, entire system. So there we have it. A nice cheap ish build that should hopefully uh, net me some money and uh, eventually when I sell these cards off because I've got the six gigabyte versions they should sell quite uh, quickly and for a very good price so yeah yeah I'm chuffed quite easy good little hobby and there we go any questions ask, like, dislike, whatever. Just go for it. Cheers for watching. Bye.